Dear Diary, Today I went through the trouble of actually having myself changed back to my real name. My real name being my online name. Yes, I guess it's real. I couldn't bear the fact that, you know, I had to deal with the idea of my insides being changed, my name being changed, my whole personality being changed, and so on and so forth. So I decided to go back to my roots and decided to become a man again. So, yay, I'm back to myself. Hey there, people of the internet world, it's Kibatsu, and welcome back to Let's Play. Pokemon, a trading card game. I almost forgot what that was. Plus, I had I was half distracted by a thing that popped up. Friggin' pop-ups. Alright, so, last episode, we supposed, I supposedly activated everything. These two here. Blah, blah, blah. We activated these two things here, and we made ourselves a water temple. A water place. A water club. Place. Thing. Ah, I'm confused! <laughs> oh, I'm confused. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's go... Let's just go somewhere. <laughs> Let's go somewhere and see how well we can handle ourselves here. Jesus. Let's see if we can't, uh... Oh. Okay. So, back to the Pokemon game. Back to the game here. We're... We're gonna be taking a look at the Lightning Club here. It's because... Why not? Ooh, like to buzz. Level 35. Um, I may... You know what? Go ahead and take it if I have one. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. For trading a regular 35 uh, buzz, which which has two attacks, one for 10 damage to paralyze, and then one for heads to, you get 40, hit, tails you get 30, and one hits yourself. And if you trade that away, you can set the, the, the promotional version. You have light screen, which attacks when attack does damage, does have damage, and then flip a coin, it does. 10 plus 20, or Tails, it just does 10. Which is kind of meh for a two colorless energy, but what can you do? And... Hmm. I would like to see him sparkle. Nope, not yet. Nothing here. Okay. Alright, then. So let's take a look at what this place is like. And, wow, this place looks pretty neat. Look at all the lights. I kind of wish this place was a casino of sorts. That way, that way it would have been uh, more interesting to look at, I guess. If you want to go with flashy lights or whatever. Hey, buddy. Well, uh, excuse you too. All right, all right. We'll do someone else though. Before we do something though, I went ahead. I went ahead and changed my deck out a bit to focus on uh, fighting Pokemon. Just, uh, just to have a change of pace. But with that said. We're gonna go ahead and talk ourselves to finding some Pokemon trainers today. Your Pikachu deck, huh? Well, I guess I wanna, I wanna. This will be an homage to a friend of mine. I know how much you don't like Pikachu, so let's hope you have to have a good time with this one. Okay, so our first date battle of the day is against Jennifer, who has a Pikachu deck of all things. Ooh, uh, let's go Mud Chop first. And Sancher there. All right, so as as Jennifer says, she's a big fan of Pikachu decks, so she has a big variety of Pokemon of which are Pikachu's. Just basic Pikachu's and some special kind like Flying Pikachu, Surfing Pikachu. Uh, actually, I think that's it, actually. <laughs> I don't think... I think it's only the two special ones. I think that's about it. I know there's plenty more Pikachus that she has that she uses to do so. But, if you are going to fight her Pikachus, you want to have something that's not uh, a fighting Pokemon. Because her flying Pikachu has... Her flying Pikachu is a flying Pokemon by technicality. So because of which, it has resistance to fighting. And then you got a serving Pikachu. Alright, so we have... Oh! Plus, you super... Ah, oh, that's a jerk move. Okay, so... The one of the other Pikachu she, put, she just put down... Is serving Pikachu, which is actually... Water type. It's electrical based, but it uses a water attack. Don't ask me how that works. It uses a move they surf, but... Actually... Does Pikachu being electrical using a water attack? Does it count as electrical or water? I'm not, I'm not fully sure. That needs to be tested one day. That needs to be tested. Okay, so, um, actually, nope. I got, I got. Let me take a look at Machoke here. Yeah, he 
you still need some fighting energy anyway, so whatever. Alright, so let's go ahead and start building up Machoke. So we can actually get some more one-hit KOs in. And if anything... Sorry about that, I kind of had a spasm there. <laughs> and if anything, we'll just uh, roll along with it and see how well uh, we can handle the, her Pikachus. I'm just not wanting to handle that flying Pikachu. That's all I'm really concerned for. Well, golly, I have all my Machokes out. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? Oh, uh, jeez. Okay. Okay, so before I finish off uh, Pikachu here and this, and this uh, player, I guess. Pikachu. And here's Machoke. Machoke. Machoke's actually pretty good if he's not damaged. Three energy, he does 50 damage flat out, but he loses 10... He minuses 10 damage for each damage counter on him. So, he, wa he needs to go in full health so that he can actually do a lot of damage. As for submission, it's flat out 60 for 2 fighting and 2 colorless, but he does 20 damage to himself. So, I still like Machuk for his Karate Chop, just, it's not the most useful thing in the world. Well, I wouldn't say useful, but not the most, uh, practical skill. But it's still useful. I still like Machoke. I really like the Machop evolution line, to be honest, in this game. So, yeah, there you go. Ooh. That may or may not be an important one to think about. I'll consider that one. Ooh, I may consider that one as well. There's a lot of things to consider about when making decks. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so... He's still busy, so... Let's go ahead and fight one of these guys, who... If you look at them, they're the same sprites. Lazy! Alright, so let's fight this one. I'm still telling what he's doing. He's probably fixing a uh, light of his, but... Maybe. I don't know. Alright, so... Next up, we're fighting against Brandon with his Lightning Generator deck. Uh, Lightning Generator. Does that mean he's focusing on, uh, Voltorbs? It sounds like it. Because Voltorbs, I think, are power generators in this game, and they kind of get energy off, and... Ooh, ooh, that's already disgusting. Get rid of it. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> uh, I already don't like you. Okay, so... Oh, King is gone. Uh, yeah, plus power, we'll have him ready later, and just take down Eevee real quick. That's a, That was fantastic, that was a nice job. Hmm, really tough. Mm, I could, but we'll see. Alright, so, yeah, he's using Zapdos, which this Zapdos is annoying to use, but annoying to fight as well. Six energy with three lightning and one colorless is thunder. Flip a coin, if tails, Zapdos does 30 to itself. So, he's already taking damage, which, eh, that's not that great. And for lightning energy, me means Thunderbolt. Discard all energy cards attached to Zapdos in order to use his attack. So, unless you're using a, uh, a deck to counter fighting with lightning, it's kind of ridiculous to use. It's costly as well, which is... Uh, uh, ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. Alright, so, because he has fighting energy, or because he's a lightning Pokemon, you think fire, or fire, fighting, but you see he has resistance to fighting because he's a flying Pokemon over being a lightning Pokemon. So, we can't do anything with them because he, when you're resistant, you take when you're resistant to an, uh, an element monster, you only take... Okay. Let me think what I'm trying to say here. Okay, Machop does 20 damage. But because Zapdos is resistant to fighting, he won't take any damage. You can resist... Resistance gives you 30 damage resistance. So if they do 40, you'll only take 10. If you have resistance boost with you. Weakness just flat out doubles the damage outlet. As you can, as you've seen already. So, if you're gonna try and counter it, you need to counter it well, and make sure that you have Pokemon that can counter electricity as well. Which is why 
technically, I would recommend using Rock Pokémon, so that you have a better way to resist against his Zapdos and Electric Pokémon and whatever, but I didn't think that far ahead, and I'm paying for it already. Um... Yeah, he only has one. Uh, shoot. <laughs> My child's probably gonna die. And so will Kangaskhan. Ooh, that's, this is not good, actually. I just now thought of this. Ooh. Okay, okay. Uh, f -f 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 bugger. This is already not good. Ah. Uh, oh, he didn't have light. Oh, he didn't have light energy. <laughs> okay. Uh. Just to make sure Machop's ready for whatever's to come, I'm gonna make sure he's fully ready. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. Thunder, he does flat out 30 da 60 damage, and then 30 damage resist, 30 damage. He puts head, so he doesn't do 30 damage to himself, so. Bugger! <laughs> bugger, 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 bugger. Okay, so just remove an energy. Uh. Find that out. Just fetch, I guess. Fetch to see if you can actually get something good. Uh, Hitmonchan is pretty useful. I can, you can use Hitmonchan. He's only going to do 10 damage if Zapdos is still around, but we'll see how that works. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to see if this works. I, I have high doubts that it's going to work. He's going to have lightning energy next turn, I'm sure, but we'll see. We'll see. Nope, no lightning energy. Hmm. Do I dare? Yeah, you know what? I need to do damage on him now, so let's go ahead and get a double energy on him, and then he can do Comet Punch! Four coins, each hit will do 20 damage, and if I'm lucky, I can do enough that he'll have to not... Okay, the thing about AI is that, like I said, when they're fixing to die, they're fixing to drop... Oh, nope, never mind. Okay, as I said, when they're fixing to die, they drop the energy and just uh, not bother and go to something else. But uh, since he didn't think he was going to die that time, or something else, or overwritten him, I guess, the AI kind of thought, no, I can kill him anyway, so I'll just kill him. Ah, uh, that's, that's a bad thing. That's a bad thing. Um... Hmm... Okay, Hitmonchan is probably going to be my only chance to survive this one, so let's see how that works. He's putting energy on other things, so I think I can do this. Actually, um... No, it costs two. Okay. Uh... Pff, I got to do it anyway, because I need something here. I need some kind of fighting energy. Uh... I'm going to put a second one on Hitmonchan to see where this is going to take me. And, let's see, if I draw another hit, Fighting Energy, I can actually do this. Although... Yeah, that might work. I'm gonna try and see how well that works. Alright, so hit my chance has it's fully energy energized, I guess, so 40 damage. It only does 10, so that's fine. But it's energy on Zapdos, which is... Using, but all right. Energy on Machoke, special punch again. Another 10 damage resistance. The only thing that can really bother me is if he uses Scoop Up, which he would. I'm pretty sure he would. Uh, do, 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 do. Machoke, sure. Uh, nah. Okay, so special punch, finish it off for 10 damage. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better, at least. Ooh, you're gonna get self-destruct, aren't you? You're totally gonna do it, aren't you? <gasps> oh, you jerk! <laughs> oh, that's so mean. Okay, alright, you know what? You wanna play that way? We'll play that way. Okay, uh... Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that trio. I haven't seen it in a while. Okay, so... Another Ancient Machoke. Might as well put my champ down. Or another Machop there. Okay, Machamp is pretty useful with the Pokemon Power Strikes back. Whenever your opponent's attack damage Machamp, this power does 10 damage to your attack power. So, no matter what, um, Machamp's always going to do 10 damage whenever he atta whenever they attack Machamp. And with 4 energy, he can do flat out 60 damage with his, uh, 
what is it? I think seismic, seismic toss? I'm pretty sure it's seismic toss. But, uh, yeah. But with that, he can just help wreck some faces. Alright, so I'm gonna retreat, switch to Machamp, and use... Oh, oh, bugger. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I made an error! <laughs> ah, nice job, you punk. Oh, shoot. <laughs> ah, alright. Alright, so one more. Okay. Now, the thing about it is, this could be bad, because if he keeps putting energy on Zapdos, he can still kill my Machamp with that one lightning move. But, I can hope that the AI is stupid enough that he'll be... Oh, I'm not going to put energy on Zapdos. I'm going to put energy on some other things to be useful. But, this is all dependent if he puts energy on Zapdos. He does. Bloody hell. So, 100 damage. Ugh. He takes 10, 10 damage, but that doesn't really matter. <laughs> That doesn't really matter at this point. Okay, well, Wigglytuff is ready, because... Wi now, Wigglytuff... Wigglytuff can be considered overpowered if she wasn't, uh, normal type. One energy for Lullaby, flat out asleep, or three energy for Do the Wave, 10 damage plus 10 damage for each bench Pokémon. So 10, 20, 30, 40 damage we're doing right now. And if we use Professor Oak here, we can draw some more Pokémon cards and... Hopefully, get some more bench Pokemon, which we do. Uh, let's put Sandshrew on there, sure. Uh, and... I'll save Jigglypuff for later, but right now, do the wave. Hit Zapdos for 50 damage. Colorless Energy does not have... Resistance. They have weaknesses to fighting, but... Every, all their attacks are pretty much, uh... Yeah. They always do the same amount of damage to them all, so they're fine. Defender, huh? You paralyzed me anyway, you jerk. You don't even you didn't even need that. And in fact, it's not even gonna matter once I actually get free. Ooh, Sand Sash. Sure. Actually. Can I put that energy? Yes I can. Yeah, this is over. Because I'm gonna put Jimmy Pot down, so now I have six bench Pokemon. But I can't do anything because I'm paralyzed. However, if I switch over to a Pokemon that's not paralyzed, the paralyzation on uh, Wigglytuff goes away. So, I can go away from her, I can retreat with the main Pokemon on the deck, I can switch back to Wigglytuff, and then I can just go ahead and just do the wave. It'll do 60 damage because 10 plus 50 for 5 bench Pokemon, and because of Defender, it defends for 20, so I still do 40. That's game over. Game, set, match. Whew! Brandon, you put up a fight there. Where were you? <laughs> oh, man. That was a good one. Get some booster packs here. Useful stuff. Okay, that, that you like to bust I'm talking about. One energy for 10, two energy for 30, plus 10 for heads, 30, or 30 damage for tails, plus 10 damage to yourself. It's a pretty useful electric card, actually. I'm, I'm, may, you may see it once we actually start using electric Pokemon. That's if we actually use electric Pokemon. Um... You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and call that one there. I was expecting that one to be so long a fight. To be honest, but that was a pretty fun fight, though. Gotta say. So yeah, we'll call it this. We'll call this one there. So yeah. With that said, we'll take a break, and we already beaten two of the members, which is pretty nice. But we still need to fight through the one member in order to talk to Brandon. Hopefully, by the time we're finished off with the third member. Brandon will, or Brandon, I don't even know what his name is, the, the gym, the club leader. The club leader will be available by the time we're done with the other guys, so we'll see. But with that said, this is Kibatu. Yes, Kibatu, not Yuki. Sorry, Yuki. And until we finish off the Lightning Club, goodbye to you. Laters!